What's going on everyone? My name is Sherwin and behind me is the R1T Studios. It is Labor Day weekend <laughs> and we are going to hem it with some friends. They got their trailers already set up there and they wanted to go camping. It's an RV park uh, somewhere in Hemet. Uh, but we're bringing the R1T because Abby loves to take half the house every time we go out. So let me show you what we got going. This is what our frunk looks like. Got some backpacks and little bags here and there. Got my extension cord just in case we need some electricity off of the truck. And all that. We stored um, some light objects in there and some unsecured boxes. So all the way on the other side. But our bed looks like this so I got my scooter there I got table to two containers some chairs cooler yeah all that stuff all that stuff so we are about to get on going because it is getting hot and uh, we are ready to hang out we are I believe 84% state of charge 302 mile range um, I don't remember how far it is but that's more than plenty so let's get going we have arrived goal I think it's called Golden Village or something here in Hemet and our friends trailers already here we're gonna be unloading but check that out this is what we got going on here loving the truck loving the truck let's get going unpack all right so this is Chet Chet and Pat's 23 footer it's uh, 2300 pounds and uh, it's pretty nice. They have a Volvo uh, pulling this. So maybe later we'll get a tour from uh, the owners, but we are here at number 615 and 616. And I already pulled up uh, this thing right here and looking at the plugs, I don't think I brought these kind of plugs, but I could charge you if I need to, but I don't need to. Currently, I am at, let's see where we're at. 70% state of charge, 253 miles. So I don't think we're gonna need to charge round trip, but this is the site that we're gonna be at for a few nights or a couple of nights. Waiting for other friends to get here. I got my scooter, so we're probably gonna go and check this area out. All right, we are on our scooter, Scooter Studios. And uh, we're gonna go check out this place. There's still a lot of um, spaces. Ooh, that's a nice little uh, Airstream right there. But yeah. Oh, they got a volleyball court. What? Interesting. All right, we're coming up on a stop. But well, let's check out this place. They got a clubhouse. They got restrooms here. They got parking here. This is probably where we're going to... Oh, there's a laundry room? Oh, reserved for laundry room. Very nice. It is still pretty warm, but we got a breeze going, so that's good. All right. It is a gated community. You have to put in your uh, code and stuff. And I think you could even rent some of these uh, cottages, but it might be already like sold out.
thought I saw a um, pool. So let's go check it out. Ooh. Should get a mount for the scooter and a camera. Is this like a uh, tennis court? Whoa. <laughs> Man, this thing doesn't have FSD, or it does have FSD, just doesn't know how to handle dips. Oh, pickleball quartz. Pickleball quartz right there. This is their main clubhouse registration area. They got people coming in and bringing in their trailers. All right, more friends showed up. And we are already starting to eat a little bit. Good morning. It is the following morning and there's bunnies over there. They got bunnies. <laughs> uh, some of them went out to play pick a pickle ball. Uh, I'm going to grab my scooter. I kept it in the bed of the truck overnight and uh, looped through the, through the cable, the locking cable. But I think there was like 15 of us. So six people slept in that trailer. And nine people slept in that trailer. We are having some breakfast right there. Spam egg and dried fish. You know, the usual, the usual. We got a little kitchen set up over here. Our chefs. Chef Girl Adi. Chef Boy Adi. Oh, we got eggplant? Yeah. yeah. Oh. There's some chorizo. Chorizo. Making some fried rice. Yeah. Mm. We are making our way to the clubhouse. It's next to the pool and there's a laundry room. Now the laundry, I checked it out earlier. Uh, it's over there through those doors. It is $5 per load washing machine and another $5 for 50 minutes 
on the dryer. On the other side of this is um, the pool itself, but we're gonna go make our way to the uh, clubhouse. Now these are restrooms, public, well not public, but it's open to those who are in here. And it goes to the shower rooms as well. So you could take a shower in your RV or trailer or over here. There's also a fitness center right here. There's some vending machines here. Here is the walkway to the pool area. It's a good number of people there, but I don't see any shades in the pool itself. It's, it's hot today, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, they also looks like poolside grill. Interesting. Didn't know that. Here is the menu. Very cool. All right. They have a pool table here. Well, pool tables. Wow. <laughs> it's so hot outside. Check this out. All right, here is the fitness center. It's pretty big. All right, we are inside like the clubhouse. They have um, like rooms here with tables. I guess you could have meetings and things here. Interesting. There's a lot of amenities here there's even a library looks like oh tea and coffee keurig interesting it's labor day and we are having breakfast got some barbecue, we got some spaghetti, we got pancakes, all that stuff. All right, I'm here with Bro Mel. Behind us is the trailer we slept in. Uh, this is Bro Mel and uh, this is Jamie's trailer and he's gonna tell us about it. So uh, what? how long is this trailer? Uh, so this trailer, uh, well, first of all, uh, it's a Keystone hideout. Um, this is a 2021 model. Uh, this trailer is about 30 feet. Um, uh, length in length, uh, dry weight is about 5,600, uh, loaded about 7,800, um, one bedroom with two bunk beds, and uh, one uh, driver's side slide out. So uh, it's great for, it, it can fit anywhere from 8 to 12, especially with kids, if you have kids. Uh, the um, dining room as well as the couch can be converted into uh, beds for the little ones, but two queen bunk beds and then one um, one uh, full bathroom. And you use uh, an Infinity QX56 uh, SUV. Yeah, so to um, pull uh, to pull the uh, the uh, this uh, uh, trailer, I use a 2013 QX56, uh, 5.6 liters, um, naturally aspirated V8. Uh, produces about 400 horsepower and no problem right no, no problem, problem. Yeah. I mean uh, it's pretty heavy but the only thing I, I um, reinforce the um, uh, suspension the rear suspension I put in the um, uh, stiffer uh, springs mm. uh, because of the uh, tongue weight um, the tongue weight on this about 600 700 pounds and then I put in a, a bags uh, um, spring uh, bag helper uh, so that uh, it can um, do more uh, accommodate the uh, the 700 pound um, oh. uh, tongue weight so okay this also has dual marine battery i think it's what it's called and check this out it's solar ready so if you want to go off grid or dry camping you can install solar panels on top of the roof on this thing We are here with Joanna. 
you you probably remember her from a previous video where we went with her uh, to go pick up the Model 3 delivery day. How's that going for you? Love it, love it, love it. Thank you. So we are inside her 23-foot trailer, 3,600-pound uh, dry weight at, and 4,400-pound uh, uh, with stuff inside. And she pulls it with a 2020 Volvo XC90 T6 four-cylinder turbo. Yeah. Inscription uh trim level and so we are here and we're going to talk about her trailer so what do we have here so this is kind of our seating area here um and this also converts into a convert it really quick um a queen bed so this is where oh it's we, another bed yeah so this is where we would actually have patch and quick sleep so it does turn into a queen bed when I fully propped it up, so that's that. And it doubles as a uh, couch. Yes, as a sitting area. Oh. So, pretty simple. And then underneath here, there's a lot of storage. So that's that. This is our little kitchen area. So we have a microwave, a full size, uh, well, kind of bigger, big size refrigerator and freezer and then I do have some like cabinets up here more cabinets down below this is actually um, well we converted it right now into a sleeping area you can sit sleep one or two depending on the size but there's also where the table is yes so if you actually have it on a normal day we just prop this up so this becomes a chair, a table, and then another chair. Oh, and by the way, we're having some issues with our AC. I think it needs more cleaning. We haven't cleaned it in a while. So it's 100 degrees here in Hemet. So thank you, Bro Sherman, for helping us pick up a portable air conditioning in the meantime so we can continue our weekend here. So yeah, thanks to your Rivian <laughs> <laughs> for helping us haul this. So, more, um, oh, it has a bunk here. bed. So it's a full size bunk bed. So sleeps one or two each. Um, that's that. There's a window over there. And then the restroom is right here. The shower, toilet, and a small sink. Nice. So yeah, it's a cozy trailer. But it actually fits quite a bit if you, you know, want to try to fit a lot of people in. So, so. probably six to eight people? Yes, yes. Because two, four, six, yeah, eight. About yeah. eight, six to yeah. eight. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. thank you, sis, for showing us your trailer. Of All right. We are nearing the end of our weekend here in Hemet. It is going to be probably over 100 degrees today. Uh, we are starting to pack up. Uh, Chichai is playing with the Tesla Roadster, trying to practice parallel parking with it. Uh, but yeah, so thank you to everyone uh, that hung out with us here. Well, we actually hung out with them. And thank you to Bro Mel and Sis Jamie for letting us stay in their wonderful trailer. I'm trying to convince uh, Sis Joanna to trade in her Volvo uh, for a Rivian to to pull their trailer, but they love they love their Volvo. They're actually waiting for the Volvo electric uh, SUV, but they're trying to wait for the the larger one so that it could it could pull the trailer. Uh, but since Rivian now has a referral code, and you do want to buy a Rivian, and you don't have someone to use a referral from use my referral code i'll put it up on the uh screen so that's gonna be it for this video if you like the video please like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i'll also post the uh efficiency and uh all that stats right at the end thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one